Hey everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal. Welcome back to another video. This one's a little unconventional. I'm actually doing a free to me haul. These are all items that my mom has scoured in her house of years and years and years of collecting and is kind of giving me some things here and there. Every time she comes up, she does bring a box or a bag for me to either go through and resell to keep or to donate if I can't do anything with it. I also have a bag from my mother-in-law, so it's kind of a whole family affair. My mom brought one box and one bag, and then my mother-in-law gave me another bag. So I thought we could go through it. I've only seen what's on the surface. I haven't dug through, so we're gonna go through it together. If you know anything about something that I don't, feel free to leave a comment down below. I absolutely love learning about new things and new topics, and as a reseller, I am very thankful I am able to do that. So first up, I did look at this already. It is a vintage shirt. It's on a cotton deluxe tag, size large. And this is from Citizens Bank. Now, I do believe that this logo is pretty old. I used to work for Citizens Bank almost 10 years ago, and this logo, I believe, is either from the late 90s or early 2000s. There are a few stains on this shirt that I will have to stain treat. I do feel confident that I'll be able to get these out. However, these may be vintage stains, so I really don't know. So there are some stains here. There's also some staining on the sleeve here and it is a long sleeve, uh, mock neck, heavy duty cotton material. I have no idea how much money I can get for this, but I thought maybe someone who used to work at Citizens might want it for nostalgia's sake, or maybe someone just wants a really nice quality feeling shirt. Next up is a puzzle I've actually already put together. This is called Travel America. It is 300 pieces. It is by Dowdle and it comes in this like cool, um, like collective box. My mom and I put this together while she was here and it took us like maybe three hours. It wasn't, wasn't hard at all. These aren't selling for a ton on eBay. I did already look them up, but since I've already put it together and it's free, I'll throw it up for a couple of bucks and see what happens. So this is pretty fun. It is a model of a vintage car. This is a 1955 Chevy Bel Air. No, I didn't know that off the top of my head. It is on the bottom. I'm not sure what the brand is though. It does say made in China. The scale is 1 24th and it just gives a number. It doesn't give a brand or anything, but the hood opens, the trunk opens, and so do the doors on the side. Cute. Uh, she gave me some of these grippy things that are great to use um, like in your cabinets to put your glasses and your plates on so they don't slip around. I probably won't use them for that, but that's what she uses them for. Next up, we have something in a Leah Sophia box. I think my mom said this isn't actually Leah Sophia. So let's see what it is. It is a beautiful silver tone brooch. I think this, yes, I thought it was. It's Sarah Coventry. You're not gonna be able to see it because it is pretty worn, um, but I feel like I've sold something similar to this before. Probably get like eight to $10 for it, but it is very beautiful. Next up, we have some Raggedy Ann things. She definitely needs a bath. 1988 by Macmillan. And here's a little ornament that someone painted. It wasn't me, I didn't paint it, but it is cute. Needs a good bath as well. Oh, it actually does say something on the back, right here. It says 1974. I can't make out the rest of it, but it does seem like it is like a mold that people could paint at home and then hang it up on their Christmas tree. Next up, we have this very, very dusty and cobwebby uh angel wooden angel this is kind of cool so it's like a puzzle kind of thing and then once you slide them together they kind of make this angel shape and then you put the head on and there she is with her hands out praying or singing or whatever this is really cute and i don't remember seeing this in my house ever so i don't know where this has been hiding Next up we have Fiesta Wear, possibly. Oh, I don't know because it doesn't say it on the bottom. It is missing the stopper. We have just one salt and pepper shaker. Oh, the stopper is inside there. I might have another one, I just can't see it yet. 
we have a little ornament with shoes on the top and it says, I don't need them, I just want them. Made in China sticker on the back. Oh, here's the other salt and pepper shaker. This one is yellow. And again, it doesn't say Fiesta Wear on the bottom. Doesn't mean that it's not Fiesta Wear because I know some of the older uh, salt and pepper shakers weren't marked or stamped or anything. So I'll have to do some research. We have something that is wrapped up. Oh, these are pretty. Ceramic or porcelain. Actually, it's porcelain. There's a little chip out of its neck here. But it doesn't seem like it's completely broken. No, just kidding. It's broken all the way around because <laughs> I see the glue back here. And this is Lefton. Um, I have looked these up already because she asked me a while ago if I wanted to take them home. They don't really sell for a lot, especially with a broken neck. So I don't, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this. Oh, I just realized it has no arm. <laughs> Did I have an arm before I put it down or did I just break it? All right, well, I don't think I can do anything with that, unfortunately. That's sad. I wonder what it was carrying. Oh, next up we have two little stockings, which I am actually going to be using these myself for Christmas for the doggies. I have two dogs. They are both Boston Terriers. One is named Piper and the other is named Tanner. I'll put some pictures up here so you can see what they look like. But this will be their stockings for Christmas. Oh, I got this for my mom a while ago. So it says, Eres la mejor madre del mundo, which means you are the best mother in the world. Um, this is, oh, Department 56. I actually don't think I knew that when I purchased this. And I can't remember if I got it at a thrift store or if I've got it at like an actual gift shop. That's really funny. So it says, uh, Sandra Magsamen collection by Department 56. And there is the little tag that goes with it. Cute. Here is, I think, the other leptin piece that goes with the guy. She does not have any broken arms. Um, this is very dusty, so I apologize if you see the floaties floating around because I sure can. Um, that's also left in, so she looks to be in good shape. I don't see any chips or anything like that. Oh, I think I remember where this came from. I think it came from one of my cousin's wedding that I was in as a flower girl. And they gave it to me as like a little keepsake. Her veil is definitely not white anymore. And it is by Homeco. So this is probably 30 plus years old. All right, next up are these little hanging flower teacup things. They say, Grandma, you mean so much to me. This was not my mother's because my mom is not a grandma. Uh, she has two, my two dogs, but no children. And this is by the brand Russ. Not sure where she got these, but they are very nice looking. And this one says, a mother's love brightens each day. Okay, so she is a mother. <laughs> she probably got it as a set or something. Next up is a little precious moments plate that needs a good bath. This is 1989 and it says, this is the day the Lord has made. I collected precious moments when I was young and into high school. So a lot of the precious moments stuff that's in here is mine. She's just handing it off to me instead of keeping it in her house. We have this, the Christmas pickle ornament. Oh, it's a small pickle. Okay, so I have seen these before, um, but they I usually see them bigger. Oh, thank God I didn't break it. <laughs> ah, that was really scary. So I think that this is just like plastic, but the little drops on the side feel like glass. And I'll read you the little blurb on the little jar. It says, in old world Germany, the last decoration placed on the Christmas tree was always a pickle, carefully hidden deep in the boughs. Legend has it that the observant child who found it on Christmas day was blessed with a year of good fortune and a special gift. My husband and his family actually have a Christmas pickle that they put on every year and they usually get like an extra gift or gift card or something. So very cute. 
Next up, we have a soap pump that is a nice floral, kind of like cottage core English garden. And this is by Vintage Garden, a princess house exclusive. Some princess house stuff can go for good money. I doubt that this one's high in demand, but I know some of the crystal that princess house puts out can bring some good money, depending on the piece, of course. Oh, we have a matching Raggedy Andy ornament to go with Raggedy Ann. Oh, this is the little stand for the Precious Moments plate. So you can display it on a shelf or in a curio. All right, we have another Precious Moments things, which is so cute. I just got married, but I will not be using this. It is so, so dusty and dirty, um, but it is a photo album. Nice vintage, 1991. Here is a cute little Raggedy Ann wooden plaque. It looks and feels like it's like a decoupage or something that someone cut out and then kind of glued on and it is backed with felt. Next up is this cute little sleigh that says, let it snow with some snowman that's glued on there. There is no brand to this. Next up, we have a box. It says Friendly Home Parties Cookies and Cracker Chess Set. Let's see if that's actually what's in here. Oh, yeah, it is. This is so cute. So we have the chess board. And then we have the little cookies. So cute. Oh, these are actually like Oreo cookies. I actually don't think anyone ever used this because it's still all in the packaging and it doesn't even look like it was ever used. It was opened, or at least it is open on this side, but that's cool. So we have something that is in a Christmas ornament box, but I don't think that that's what's in there, a tree topper. So let's see. Oh, it is a nativity set. And they're all little bears. Oh, and this is also by the brand Home Co. So I'm not going to take out the whole thing because number one, I don't want to break it. And number two, there's a lot of pieces, but there are three little bears in this bag. There are, <laughs> these are so cute. I have to take these out. Look how tiny the little sheep are. And there's also a cow. We have Mary. At least I think that's who it is because she was packaged up with baby Jesus. And I gotta take him out too because he is adorable. <laughs> He's so cute. And then we have, ooh, this looks like a Magi or a Magi, however you say that. I think it's Magi. And then one more little baggie. And it looks like it's another Wiseman with one of the goods for baby Jesus. Very, very cute. Next up, we have some more breakables. <laughs> That's adorable. She's wearing a too big dress, dressing up probably in mommy or grandma's clothes. This is also home co. There are numbers on the bottom, so I'll be able to look these up. And then here is her mate <laughs> dressing in daddy's clothes, grandpa's clothes. Very cute. Well, I also bought this for my mom. I do believe that I picked this up at like Ross or Hobby Lobby or something. Um, it's got a leaf pattern to it. And it says a family stitched together with love seldom unravels. I might actually keep this one. We have another porcelain lady. She is very, very pretty. What's on her hat? Oh, I thought they were birds. They're little flowers with her umbrella. This one isn't branded. It just says made in Taiwan on the bottom. This one is branded though. It says this one is Camille and it's home interiors and gifts, 2003. But she is very fancy, very pretty. Love the pearls. No chips or crack anywhere on these. These look great have another sign. This one is metal. 
and it says the secret of good sewing is the use of Clark's O&T spool cotton. This is definitely just a reproduction, but very cool nonetheless. We have two more things left in this box. They're both raggedy and themed. This is McCall's Crafts. It looks like it is for both Raggedy Ann and Andy, the pattern. Um, number 5567. I'll have to make sure that everything is there. And then the other thing is actually very cute and very well done. Um, wherever she got this, she paid 50 cents for it. Probably a yard sale or a thrift store. It is Raggedy Andy and it says Ava Freeman. Very nice. Okay, so next we have this bag. This is also for my mother. This one she told me is for me, but I can sell it if I wanted to. I have a feeling it's a Precious Moments figurine. Yes, it is. It is the bride and groom version. And this one is from 1982 and it says, bless you too. Again, I'm very sorry for the dust that is floating everywhere. I hope that you can't see too much of it because it's making me very itchy. <laughs> uh, she did give me some slips, which the last time that she did, they actually sold pretty well. I do still have one listed, um, but this is a vintage Fruit of the Loom. It may not be vintage. Knowing my mom, it's probably vintage. <laughs> and this is a size uh, two extra large. And it's an elastic waist with a little bit of a scalloped hem, a nice like cream ivory color. And the other one appears to be a top, but it's not by the same brand. Now this one is definitely vintage. Velrose, Velrose, and it is a size 30, no 46. And it is a little cami with lace there. And then again, the same ivory cream color. This, I remember very well in my house. So my uncle lived with us while we were kind of taking care of my grandmother. And this was very prominently in his bedroom as a decor. Now it has seen some ups and downs. I can tell that it's definitely worn, um, but this brings me really, really good memories of my uncle. He unfortunately did pass away from cancer over 10 years ago, but he was one of the most influential people of my life and was just the best person to be around. So this is a very nice memento. It is Abraham Lincoln on his chair. I forget where this statue is. It's definitely in Washington, DC. I just can't remember what building it's at, but um, this is just a smaller version. And there is felt on the bottom, but there is a lot of paint chipping. There's a lot of like cracking to the paint chipping in here. I will still sell this because it doesn't fit into my decor, even though it is a nice memento of my uncle. Um, I know that he would want somebody else to appreciate it and pass it along. And we have a whole bag that looks like Tupperware miniatures. Now, a lot of these are probably vintage. My grandmother was a Tupperware vendor or seller or hostess, whatever they called it back then. And I know that she had a lot of this stuff back then. So some of them are even magnets. I'm not gonna take everything out, probably just sell it as a lot, maybe keep a few pieces for myself for memories, but this is really cool. Oh, more slips. This one is a long slip actually. Scalloped hem, elastic waist. This one is by, I have no idea. It does have an RN number, but it says it's a size XX. It's another one. This is more of like a half slip. It's a little shorter. It does have slits on the side with this lace. Very, very pretty. And this one is by, I don't know, again, has the RN number, but it doesn't say the brand and it's an extra, extra large. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is appropriate for YouTube, so I'm not gonna say what it says, but it's very funny. So I thought I was having a hot flash this morning until I realized my, we're in my coffee. <laughs> 
really, really funny. Um, this is a very large cup, perfect for lots of coffee. This is actually by Spencer's, which kind of surprises me that Spencer's would sell something like that. But then again, no, not really. It has like a hot flash flame over here. That is really funny. We have lots of tea towels. A lot of my aunts are very crafty and they will take tea towels and like create them into other things. So I have a feeling that's what's in here. They sell their stuff at craft fairs all the time and these tea towels are like one of their biggest hits. These are not made by them. These are actually still new and put together. I probably will be keeping these myself because they're adorable. They have little dogs as ghosts and goblins. It says trick or treats. And then there's a white one on the back. Very cute. This one is adorable as well. I might be keeping this one too because I love cactuses. <laughs> Very cute. It's got the little pom-poms on the edge. Let me see if there's a brand. It says Design Mainstream International. This one. So here's what I'm talking about when my aunts make stuff. So they will actually knit or crochet a little hanging thing on top of these so that you can hang them on like your refrigerator door handle or your oven door handle. And it is really handy when cooking. So this is a Christmas themed one. We have pot holder. Then we have another one. Oh, this one's cute. Like a fall themed one. And then these button. Nope they actually made them into velcro very cute we have another pot holder that is still in the package actually i think there's two in here but they are very thin so definitely wouldn't be holding hot things with this but maybe more like a trivet or something to put a hot pan on we have a mrs claus cloth looks like a hand towel for like the bathroom oh this is vintage oh this is lennox Huh, made in China, cute. I wonder if there's a Mr. in here. A Mr. Santa Claus, there is. There's a big stain on it though. Uh, so there's the Mr. Mm, I might be able to get that out. These might actually bring money because they look vintage and they are Lennox. And besides that one stain, they really don't even feel or look like they've been used much. We have a little snowman spoon rest or spoon holder that you put on the counter or on your stove. I think that this might have just been sold by Walmart or the Dollar Tree, but it's still cute. All right, so at the bottom of that bag and the last of that bag are more towels. This one is pretty icky and discolored, but very cute. This one is just by Canon. This one has a smiley face on it, another Christmas themed one. Ooh, this has ugh, yuckiness over there. This says Think Kitchen Towel, T-H-I-N-C. Yeah, that's what that says. Uh, both of my dogs are in here. Piper is currently wandering around and licking everything in sight. Um, so I apologize if you hear her in the background licking her lips. Uh, this cute little towel. This is by Colormate. And lastly is this one. That's a very festive one for Christmas. And that's another Colormate one. All right, that was the end of the box and the bag that my mom gave me. So now we're moving on to what my mother-in-law gave me. There isn't much in here, but I thought I would show you anyway. We have Twilight. No. Yes, it is Twilight, but this is New Moon. We have Eclipse. We have Twilight. And we also have, wow, this is very, very thick. Ooh, Breaking Dawn. I have no idea what any of these are worth. This one's a special edition, not sure if that matters. And I'm not a Twilight fan, so I'm not sure that this is complete, but I think that it is. So I will be selling these all together. Next up, she gave me a few bathing suits. This one 
has ruching on the side and little ruffles down here. This is really cute, actually. There are straps that are adjustable and removable. And let's see what the brand is. This is always, for me, Cheek Solids. I've never heard of that brand. Here are the bottoms, I'm assuming. Yes. So there are the bottoms. Just a pair of briefs. We have another bathing suit. This one looks a little bit older. I do like the colors. And it is a little ruffly down there. And it probably is a swim dress. Yes. And here are the briefs underneath. Let me see what the brand is on this one. Uh, I actually can't find a brand on this, so the tag might have been cut out, which is unfortunate because I won't be able to sell it because there's no size. I'll look a little deeper for a tag later on, but there's the second bathing suit. And then we have two pairs of shoes. First pair of shoes, I know that she wore out to Las Vegas at our wedding. Um, it is a very, very cute, strappy glitter rhinestone heel. And this is by the brand Lila, no, Lala, <laughs> Lala Ikai. She got them off of Amazon. Just need a little bit of cleanup. And there's the other one. She gave me, oh, I forgot about this. So this is a necklace or like a lanyard holder or something like that from Brighton. It does have a lot of wear to it though. There is the little hang tag. It does have a B on it and it is a longer like cord necklace. Unfortunately, I don't think that I'm gonna sell this. I think even if I were to clean it up, it probably would still have that wear on it. And then the last thing is another pair of shoes. These are super cute and barely look worn. They have some flowers on top here. There is dog hair all around the Velcro, I can see. She has two dogs, um, but oh my gosh, if she wore these, it like maybe once or twice. And they are by the brand Rialto. They are faux leather, so all man-made materials, and they are a size eight and a half. I am not really familiar with how this brand does resale wise, but I will certainly put these up online and see because they are super cute and in really nice condition. All right, well, that concludes the unboxing of the free inventory that was given to me by family. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I always appreciate you being here and watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.